Hi, everybody, and welcome to uh, weeks number seven and eight. Uh, we are uh, getting close to the end of our classroom laughing because my family is all in front of me dancing, trying to make me laugh. Sorry about that. Uh, but I wanted to uh, make a quick video for this week. Uh, I'm feeling much better than I was last week, but I'm still kind of struggling with pneumonia. Um, and I'm also on vacation. We're up in Washington, which is really cool. I got like absolutely beautiful trees behind me. Uh, but I wanted to make a quick video to give you an extra credit opportunity and also just to check in with all of you. Uh, and so we are right here to scroll down on our last two weeks of our class. <laughs> See, still coughing, right? Uh, weeks number seven and weeks number eight. Uh, our class does officially end on Friday. August 2nd. So just something um, that I'm going to mention a few times as we get closer. Please try and keep that in mind. Uh, normally, I know everything ends on a Sunday, but our last week next week will end on Friday the 2nd. I cannot believe that we're already almost to August and that our summer is starting to kind of wind down. But uh, one thing at a time, let's focus on what we have going on. Uh, right now, we are in week number seven. And so for this week, um, like usual, you have two chapters to read two discussions, and then I will give you an extra credit question this week so that uh, you're not hurting because I'm, I'm still struggling with my health. So for this week, what I'd love for you to do, as always, you have three things. Uh, read the chapter in the ebook, read through the lecture, and then watch the lecture video. So do that for stress and health, um, and then also chapter 14 on psychological disorders. You also have two discussions to do for this week. Um, and as always, you have my instructions up here at the top, followed by my video. Uh, this one is kind of a newer one that I added. Um, I think it's a really like popular topic right now. It's something that I'm spending a lot of time writing about and researching as well. Uh, and so this one is about self-care. So what I have here is a little article for you to read, and then you're gonna be uploading some images of you engaging in self-care activities. Um, and so, uh, you know, don't try and do anything too wild. Do things that you normally like to do or use this as a great opportunity um, to kind of encourage yourself to try something you've been wanting to try. Um, and this can be stuff, like I said, you're already doing. Um, it doesn't have to be anything too elaborate is what I meant. Um, but these should be images that you take on your own with like your phone or any kind of camera. Have them be creative and thoughtful and well composed. You don't need to be in the pictures. In fact, it might be better if you aren't, but it can be of any element of a self-care activity. So let's say you go get uh, your nails done. It could be of any piece of that, or you go on a walk in the forest. It could be of the path or the trees or you hiking, whatever makes sense to you. I want you to be creative and have fun with this. The whole point is uh, for that this to give you kind of a chance to do something for yourself. So um, that's kind of the biggest piece of this. And then you're going to give me a little description of each thing. What, how uh, does this promote self-care? What are you doing? How did you feel before and after? Just a couple of sentences. Um, and that will be what you do for this discussion. Don't forget to also reply to a classmate. And I can't wait to see what you come up with for self-care. Again, it can be literally anything and the article might help you a little bit if you're struggling to come up with some ideas. For discussion number 14, <coughs> discussion number 14, again, my instructions and then the video, this one is all about disorders. And we're covering kind of the main perspective in our class that there are psychological disorders, they're diagnosable, there are criteria and so on. I wanted to present you with kind of a polar opposite perspective just to give you an opportunity for critical thinking. Um, and so I've given you an excerpt from a famous, I'll say old, but famous book um, by a man named Thomas Saws. So I'd like you to read this little uh, excerpt right here. I also recorded it if you'd rather listen to me read it to you. And then you're going to answer these three questions, kind of presenting uh, or describing his main ideas that he's presented in his book. What are some of his claims and reasons that he's using? Do you agree with him? Why or why not? And explain. And then do you think that diagnoses stigmatize people? In what ways might they help and or hinder people? So don't forget to hit reply. And then you can also uh, reply to a classmate to get those two points. And so that's kind of your focus for, for this week is on stress and health and disorders, those two discussions. 
Week number eight is open. Of course, you have access to two weeks at a time every time. Um, so if you wanted to work ahead, you could work on week 15, or I'm sorry, chapter 15 and chapter 16. And those discussions, the final exam, the closing assignment, all of that is there already for you. Uh, but I will focus on that next week. And hopefully uh, we can schedule our kind of our last uh, live stream together live <laughs> next week instead of as a recording. I'm sorry again that... Uh, I didn't do that last week. I, I definitely was quite sick and ended up in the emergency room and, and all sorts of fun stuff. So much better now. And again, I'm surrounded by beautiful trees, so that helps. Um, but for this week, focus on week number seven. I do also have an extra credit question for you. I'll just put it right here in the middle of your screen. Uh, what does DSM stand for? And what edition are we currently in? So that's your uh, extra credit question for this week. What does DSM stand for and what edition are we currently in? And when you're ready to answer that, you can go here. We're in week seven. So you'll click on optional Twitch extra credit number seven right here. Click on start assignment up at the top. So you can uh, type, oops, potentially type, type your response here. And then when you're done, hit submit and get your little confetti burst. And then uh, trophies, right? It's always nice to get trophies. So um, that's your opportunity to get those points for this week. Again, don't forget that our class does end next Friday, uh, August 2nd. I almost said October 2nd. My kids have been pushing to decorate for Halloween. So everything, like my mind, I'm thinking of Halloween already. Uh, so everything ends next week on Friday the 2nd. But for this week, we'll worry about week seven. And then when I see you next week, I'll talk about the closing assignment, the final exam, and some of those components as well. So um, I hope you're all having a great summer. I hope that all of you are hanging in there and enjoying these last uh, couple of weeks. And uh, yeah, I will hope that we can have one last live stream when I see you next week. All right, take care, everyone, and feel free to email me if you have any, any questions. Like